A mental health program for children at risk got a big boost on a Lafayette, Georgia golf course. Here we go to Channel 3's Angela Kim with more. To get out here and raise funds for an organization that's helping children is such an important part of our day. Eric Kittle is one of the many golfers on the nearly 40 teams at Lafayette Golf Course. News Channel 3. Thanks, Thanks sir. He's helping raise funds for the Children's Advocacy Center of Lookout Mountain Judicial Court. If it's physical abuse or sexual abuse uh, in this facility, this organization, they do such a tremendous job just breaking down those barriers so these kids know that they're loved and that they can be taken care of and that they'll get protection. Executive Director Anthony Dye says the organization's mental health programs depend heavily on this fundraiser after a big budget cut earlier this year. In order to keep our mental health office going uh, at capacity of what we're doing right now, um, we had to have this fundraiser. He's hoping to raise between $25,000 and $35,000 today, which is the amount that was cut. Those funds typically provide six therapists who deliver free services. So right now we're seeing about 75 children a week um, in our mental health program. And without this fundraiser, it would cut at least 25 of those out a week. Dye says if the fundraising goal is not met, those free mental health services for children could cost a lot more from other sources. All of our mental health services to the families are free. So without this funding, they're going to have to go somewhere and either have to use their insurance or, or pay out of pocket. He says he hopes to expand services one day, but right now that is not an option. We would love to expand, but right now we just need to stay where we are. Kittle hopes people enjoy the day, but also walk away with a new perspective on kids in need. And I think if we walked away each day and we, we could look and see children out, out and around us in public when we're out shopping somewhere and could see like that child may be in danger, like how do we report that? How, how do we have access to an organization that can help these children? Uh, I think if we walk away with that today, we're super successful. Reporting in Lafayette, Angela Kim, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Yay! All right, looked like a lot of fun. They raised some $23,000 so far, and there will be future fundraisers, including a music festival. How about that?